before we get into the video, I wanted to give a PSA announcement to just tell everyone to please stay home. So if you do have the option to stay home, please stay home. I know that sometimes you need to get some groceries, you need to do some things, but at all costs, please stay home. And that doesn't mean necessarily going to the beach or the park. It means literally staying home, sitting and watching TV to literally save lives is just to stay home because this pandemic is going to get a lot worse before it gets a lot better so please take this seriously and stay home hey what's up good morning everyone and welcome back to another video my name is jasmine and today's video is regarding successful people so what do all these successful people have in common what do all these businessmen ceos presidents talk show hosts what do they all have in common morning routines these people have a systematic way that they structure their day so that they can be set up for success. So in this video, I explore what it is they do during their morning routines to set them up for success. Based on the article from New York Times, most successful people wake up prior to 8 a.m., most waking up from 4.30 to 6 a.m. Business leader Tim Cook wakes up at 4.30 or earlier every single day, while Google executive wakes up around 6.30 to 7 every morning. So the trend I'm getting here is most of them will wake up before 8 a.m. so that they have an uninterrupted work morning. Hygiene is important for people who are successful. If you aren't able to maintain your hygiene, how are you able to even maintain a company? So remember, brush your teeth, comb your hair, and get ready for the day. Most successful people will wake up early to integrate some sort of physical activity into their morning. Jack Dorsey gets up at 5.30 so he can go on a six mile jog. So today I decided to do a core power yoga at home workout because all the gyms are closed. I'm wiping down my mat because CEOs do not have dirty workspaces. There are a lot of physical benefits that go into physical activity. Research shows that it aids in lowering cortisol levels, increases endorphins, and strengthens our immune system, which is all things we need right now, especially with constantly being indoors. Oprah Winfrey starts every morning with gratitude. So today I decided to write into my journal three things that I'm grateful for. I think especially during this time, it's important to express some sort of gratitude every day to keep a positive outlook on everything. With all the negative media, it's a good way to stay positive in light of the situation.
Okay, so what I noticed was no CEO mentioned taking vitamins, but I took my vitamins today, so, you know, shout out to me. What a lot of CEOs do is they shower early in the morning. Former American President Barack Obama actually showers prior to working out. That's not really my thing, so I decided not to do that. Many CEOs keep informed about their companies as well as the news. Barack Obama actually reads the physical paper. Because I don't actually have a physical paper, I decided to just watch the news online. The CEO of Google reads a book or the newspaper every morning. Reading does a lot for the brain and it's an exercise to make it stronger. So instead of mindlessly scrolling through social media, he likes to activate his brain. Which I think is actually a really good alternative. Okay, these people are CEOs and successful business people. They have to look presentable at all times. So Google CEO actually drinks tea, but I am not really a tea person. Black tea is actually a fraction of the caffeine found in coffee, which is a lot better for you because it gives you that mental clarity without all the jitters, but I couldn't bring myself to do it, so I drink coffee instead. Most CEOs will wake up early enough that they can eat a proper nutritious breakfast to kickstart their metabolism for the rest of the day. I couldn't find any articles as to what they ate, so I just tried to keep it nutritious by having a hard boiled egg with a yogurt and fruit bowl with some granola and some peanut butter. I have no idea how these CEOs do this every single day. By around noon, I was already exhausted and I needed to take a nap, so props to these people, but they have some really good tips. So comment down below if you try any of these CEOs' morning routines. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.